launching magazine Yvenet. It is hard enough to start a company in Montreal. My guest created his in the Middle East and brought it all the way here. Founder of Clubaholics and known as DJ Godfather, I welcome Jack Simon. Hello, Quebec. Hello. Hi, Jack. Well, before we're going to get into the whole club scene and partying and music, I want to talk about Jack the Entrepreneur because it's the first time I have a guest that's Lebanese and that operated a company in Lebanon. So I really want to talk about that aspect of how Jack sweated to put uh, all his company together in Lebanon. Well, in Lebanon, it's it's uh, it's not a, it's not an easy market. It's a very tough market, especially with all the political problems in Lebanon, and you know, on and off, so many too many problems going on. What was good about it is that it's the first time you have a promoter coming and throwing in international acts, international DJs, uh, on and off on a weekly basis. Uh, it got a lot of uh, we got a lot of uh, support from a lot of media, um, especially all over the Middle East. We did that in 2000 and. 2003-2004. And by we, are you a small team, a big team? And just we're going to specify what Clubaholics do. You launch parties, like Ooh. on the sea, <laughs> we music. Do, that, that we do. We're, uh, we started off, I started off by myself at the beginning. I, the reason why I started off, I was a DJ. I wanted to DJ and I wanted to, I wanted a way to promote myself. And what better way to promote yourself is by having a company which backs you up. So we started off small, obviously it was me, it was me and a few, a few friends. We did it. Things started to look serious. We started to get good response from the from the public, and uh, obviously we started opening offices. We recruited many more people to work with us, and eventually the company became legit. It, it right. uh, <laughs> the, the, the name got a buzz, and uh, things were looking yeah, good. Especially on the internet, you use a lot the a lot the web. But do you feel that the war has uh, affected you somehow? Because what happened? Unfortunately, the war did affect us, uh, and it still is affecting us. The reason why is um, it's not stable. The country is not stable. The problem is you try to get so many you try to get so many artists to, to, to Lebanon, and, uh, and they they, they, they jack up their secure. prices. Everyone because they're scared of security. So instead of getting an artist, for example, for ten thousand dollars, you have to pay them thirty, forty because right. they're, they're they're worried of coming to the to the Middle East and especially to Lebanon, especially after what happened in two thousand six, to perform, and that's what makes it harder. But then again, uh, you do. You have the crowd, you have the vibe, and we do have the support, especially from the from the people and from media in, in Lebanon and the Middle East. So it makes our life much, much more easier. Oh, congratulations! And yeah. obviously, Montreal here, we also have. You must have heard a very good crowd and very good nightlife. But why in the world would you want to come to Montreal when you know you're in the Middle East? Well, Everyone wants to go in the Middle East. There, there's there's a few reasons for that. One is one is that okay, we've been doing I've been doing it in the Middle East for way too long. Uh, for the past, pr yeah, probably four or five years, and uh, why not? It's a f you have a you have a person who's who's based a company in Lebanon and the Middle East, and getting something here, which is um, which is you know it, it comes, something that comes from Lebanon. You get it, you get it to Montreal, and this city has so many Arabs and so yeah, many Lebanese you feel, that do you, you, really feel, you feel at home, feel? you know, and okay. people know it because a lot of people, a lot of students who who live in, in Lebanon, they come here, they go to university, they come here, they work, and 80% of the clubs here, I'm not going to give you a number, but the majority of the, of the people of who go out, are, 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 there are a lot of Lebanese. So you, know? you feel it's, the Lebanese presence in Montreal? Yeah, I do. And Come the here. best way to feel it is that when you go to clubs and when you when I play in clubs, you say, oh, the, the people look up to you and they're like, this is the guy who was in Lebanon, oh. this is the guy. And, and that's what's nice, you know? Uh, wow. The first time you bring something from Lebanon, get it to get it to Montreal, and you do, pe people do accept so it. So we you know? support you here. That's, yes, uh, that, that's, that's good to good. hear. And needing the support, do you have any, uh, any dreams? In the near future for your company, what are you expecting as project? There's one thing I said in mind uh, when I started when I started the company a few years back. I I always had my hopes up high, very high, and I don't find I don't put a limit to it. You know, I never put a limit to it because that's the Lebanese spirit. That's, that's the Lebanese <laughs> spirit. You know, because what you've what you've accomplished from now, you you wouldn't. It, it was when you do it alone. It was you you could you couldn't imagine that you could you could do um, all this and. The best thing is no. I don't have. I, I can't tell you. I'm going to reach here. I'm going to reach there in the near future. But I there's, there's a lot of Very future future projects that I'm looking forward to do in Montreal. Yeah, Montreal. And you're not going to believe me, but there we're almost out of time. So you said that you had a message to give to Lebanese. It was very important for you to give across a message. The, yeah, the message is people. People find it strange that. People, people who are in Lebanon, they, they tell you, okay, let me go to Montreal, let me go to New York, let me go to Hollywood, because I want to, I want to do my dream, I want to, I want to do this, I want to do that. But it's, it's strange that, okay, here I am, I, I did everything in Lebanon, during the worst times, 
okay, it was worse before, but yeah. for me, it was during the worst times, and <laughs> and it made my life so much easier in Montreal. Really? And it's time for us to, you know, to obviously, the way I took it, like, took it, the way I look at it is like, uh, yes, I want to take over Montreal. I want to do that, and we have the crowd for that. So don't be put down from all the problems that that's happening in Lebanon. It's it's not you don't have to be in the states to do to be big you know you, you could always start in Lebanon and and like other artists they so say so you wish peace for Lebanon and you oh hope that uh, with the uh, upcoming elections things won't obviously because then again <laughs> then again we all want to go back and and with all the problems we've, we've overcome so many problems and we are still Lebanon is still the clubbing capital of the Middle East no matter what happens in other in other countries around the Middle East, it is the clubbing capital of the Middle East. Thank you. you. Know? Thank you, Jack. So. And quickly, I just want to say that you're gonna, if uh, we want to reach you, it's clubaholics.ca. It is clubaholics.ca. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, Kalmana. Regine, when we're at the end of the magazine, we're going to be with Victor.